Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we'll be going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach as the first promotional images have been revealed for the brand new looking Valhalla reopening in 2022. Now before we get started with that, make sure you do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. We're on the road to 2,700 subscribers. Let's get there as soon as possible. Don't forget we've got a month and a half now until we hit until we hit that deadline to try and reach 3,000 subscribers. Of course, when I do hit 3,000 subscribers, I will do as what I always do every thousand subs, and that is a milestone Q&A where you guys ask me questions to answer. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a little chat about Valhalla and also look at the brand new promotional image. There it is on your screen now. Look how beautiful that promotional image looks. Doesn't it look absolutely wonderful? Of course, Valhalla, Brave the Adventure, Blackpool, Pleasure Beach. Now, for those of you who are sitting there and thinking, what's Valhalla? Like, what's Valhalla? So for those of you who are no, like, if you're not a real coaster enthusiast, you're just, a, you're just a, another member of the general public who just loves going on days out to these places like Blackpool Pleasure Beach, you're thinking, I want to know a bit more about Valhalla, you know, what we're, what we're experiencing here. Well, Valhalla is a large indoor dark boat ride that opened at the park originally back on the 14th of June 2000. It, Ironically, two weeks before I was born. How cool is that? Now, of course, this cost 15 million pounds. It originally replaced the Fun House, uh, which burnt down in 1991. Uh, now, of course, uh, between 2015, 2018, and 2019, Valhalla was named the best water ride in the world by the Amusement Park Golden Ticket Awards, uh, the Amusement Today Golden Ticket Awards. Now, apparently, um, it reportedly had very high running costs given the complexity of the ride system, reaching £147,000 per month in peak season. It claimed that the ride makes up a third of the park's total power demand. During its early years, it featured further pyrotechnic effects such as lightning, explosions and flames, becoming reduced after a decade in operation. In May 2004, a fire which damaged the Great Nas Grand National Station and the Alice in Wonderland dart ride was extinguished using some of the water from Valhalla. It closed in 2011, the season to undergo its first uh, major refurbishment. Uh, notably, the facade structure was completely replaced with a brand new shop, a brand new exit bridge, a new foul rock facade restoring the waterfall effects as well, along with some new stuff inside the ride, including changes to the effects and scenes. The Tesla core lighting room was completely removed and replaced with two Viking skeletons, a largely car Valhalla sign and laser effects. The sound and the lighting remains in the area, and the ride's music system was also improved for better coverage throughout the ride, with the ride reopening on the 5th of May 2012. Of course, that was the same year that Revolution was refurbished, along with the removal of the Iron Brew sponsorship and the arrival of its grey colour scheme. On the 20th of December 2019, Pleasure Beach announced that Valhalla would remain closed for the duration of the 2020 season, the ride's 20th anniversary. The ride is currently being reimagined for the 2022 season, originally due to opening 2021, but delayed due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Now, obviously, Valhalla is a very historic and iconic ride here in the UK. And I'm going to share my thoughts on that promotional image that you guys saw on your screen during this report, and also my thoughts on what I think could be happening inside the experience. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about Valhalla and the 2022 reimagining. Now, obviously, we are expecting quite a bit of changes happening inside. Um, I think we're some. In fact, to be fair, I don't know what some of us are expecting. I, I think it's just expect the unexpected, really. I, re I remember riding Valhalla a couple of times uh, when I was at the Pleasure Beach in 2016. Um, fingers crossed, if all goes to plan, 
Um, I'll be at the opening day of the uh, park in February. Um, fingers crossed. I'll be at Blackpool for the start of February for the opening weekend uh, next season. So fingers crossed that all goes to plan. Um, and fingers crossed Valhalla will be open by then. If it's not, then I'll probably have to do a return visit just for Valhalla. Uh, or whenever that ride reopens. Uh, but I think with Valhalla, I think it's a very interesting story. I think it's had a very interesting history. Um, I love the ride to pieces. I really do. Um, I think the whole stylization of it and the effects on the ride. And I think the whole um, sort of lighting and the sound and the... You know the temperature changes and you know all the different water stuff happening as well and the drops on the ride just oh boy that is a brilliant ride i really love that ride space um and i'm interested to see what changes are going to be happening to the ride are we going to i, I mean you know i think people are probably expecting the soundtrack to stay but we're going to get some kind of i wouldn't say remix but we're going to get like a new updated soundtrack where it's like the old soundtrack but a bit going on um you know are we going to get a new soundtrack you know there's a couple of companies out there that could really do a good job with a new soundtrack for valhalla despite the iconicness of the original soundtrack uh notable stranger he's done some work that you know they've done some work with blackpool pleasure beach before so with the big one soundtrack for its anniversary so you know are we going to um you know see potentially you know notable stranger do a soundtrack for valhalla um, you know, I'm a score. Could they work with Blackpool Pleasure Beach here? There's real questions about what could happen inside the experience. But with that promotional image itself, I think it looks really cool. I think I like the... Um, it looks like we're going to get like a, a maybe re a repaint slightly of the boats. Um, it looks like the walls maybe go... It looked like it was just before you go up the first lift till as you turn in the first section. So maybe we're going to see the walls repainted to be a bit darker, a bit blacker, um, and things like that, just to give it a bit of a more eerie feel. We're going to have a very scary ride here. I I'm interested. I really am. I've covered this ride for so long, this refurbishment for so long. I was the one who, I was one of the people, one of a few enthusiasts who brought the first rumor to the to YouTube and to the public eye, uh, from what I was hearing and from what other people were hearing. So. You know, I was one of the, one of one of the first many people to cover this, so I really can't wait for this reopening. I really can't. It, it's been two years now, and I really can't wait for it. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. So, okay, guys, have a Valhalla tastic day. And just this day, I got out of bed and looked out of the big blue window and saw the sun in the sky. So I checked out of my room, met my friends, walked to the park and got myself a wristband. I was there all day.